Welcome back. I'm back on Darcy today um, and we did a video about picking up the correct canter lead um, and Darcy particularly struggled picking up left canter lead and we did say in that video that we'd take you back a few, I think it's nearly a month, we'll take you back and show you how she's progressing. Um, so this is still quite raw what we've done today. It's um, still in the progress stage but we can now pick up left canter which is really brilliant. Um, and actually, if anything, the right canter is a little bit weaker than the left now, which is normal. So that can happen quite a lot with baby horses. They sometimes find one rein easier and then they sort of change to the other rein. But she's really good. She's picking up left canter. What we've been doing to try and progress with that is we've been in the field and we've just been letting her kind of pick up the canter. Even if she kind of runs to get it, it doesn't matter. Even if her head's a little bit in the air, it doesn't matter. And then just giving her lots of freedom and room so that she doesn't have to make these tight turns. She's not restricted by fences. Or in the other school, when we showed you the canter before, where we picked up left canter, we had no fence. But there's still a restriction with that because you've got to stay within that school so at least when you're in the field you just can keep going it doesn't matter where it sort of takes you if she falls a bit through the shoulder as long as you keep the canter that's perfect so we've done lots of that and actually been in the school only a couple of times been mostly schooling her in the field so Darcy's natural asymmetry was she's got slightly bigger left shoulder so although we've been going down the field and doing the canter work down there we still do our groundwork she does raised poles uh, on the lunge she does lots of exercises in hand to help with this. Um, so she's learning like shoulder in in hand and those sorts of exercises to help her really get, you know, the, the shoulders more symmetrical. Um, and also we came back into this school to actually pick up the canter because the fences, it kind of gives you something to kind of bounce off of if you like with a young horse. So with the big school, when we picked up canter in there, and, and you'll see that canter transition because we're going to pop that into this video that was like a month ago or so. Um, she's kind of like almost looking for something to hold her up and she's sort of running and kind of losing her shoulders. And yeah, the field's great for that and you can kind of let them do that. But obviously in a school that has no fence, you're still having to stay within that parameter so that can be really tricky on a young horse so coming back in here the fences give her some sort of like she knows she's got to turn and they sort of support her a little bit so I've come back in here and that's been enabled us to pick up the left canter what we're doing the next video is we'll show you it back out in the big open school so that we can just keep showing you the differences as she develops and strengthens and she's still very weak we need to work a little bit more on on getting her on the downs and a little bit more fitness work as well start with some transitions before we actually ask for the canter 
and just uh, make sure that Darcy's in front of my leg and able to stay round and connected through the transitions. I don't want the neck too short. I want the neck to be, you know, a little bit longer because she's only a baby. So we're not expecting her to have this sort of Grand Prix outline. She can stretch a little bit through her top line. And we'll just pop a couple of transitions in just to make sure she's ready for when I do ask for the canter. Nice in front of my leg. Pop a little circle in up here just to make sure she's round my inside leg. And there you can see she's just falling through the shoulder a bit. So I've got to make sure all those things are organised before I try to ask for canter because otherwise I'm going to be losing her straight away. Another transition back to a walk. And remembering um, what I said before about not doing too many trot strides before you canter so that the trot doesn't get too long and flat. Okay, good girl. And that's lots better than it was a few weeks ago. Don't really mind where her head is too much as long as she stays in front of my leg. And we can make it round the whole school. Good girl. And then here she'll want to die back a bit so we've got to try and keep her in front of our leg. Same thing, nice little circle at the top here. Just check she's round my inside leg, I'm not falling through the left shoulder. Try and keep that left hand keeping the shoulder in place. Down the long side, pop in another little walk transition, but try to keep her forward because she does struggle a little bit. And back to trot. And then up to canter this way. Good girl. Nice drop there. She's in front of your leg. Use the corner to help. And good girl. Pick up left canter. Well done. Forwards. and keep it round these short sides. It's much harder for her in this smaller area. Back to trot. Good girl. And forwards. This is the progress today. We're back, um, you know, we'll be back with you in a few weeks to just keep showing you how it is with these baby horses. Don't get disheartened when it doesn't quite, you know, perfectly work out. You see some four-year-olds going around in this beautiful balanced canter, five-year-olds as well, Darcy's five now, but actually you know the reality of it is not all of them can do that so this is one that finds it a bit harder and so hopefully this can help you um, develop your horses a little bit. So don't forget to follow our social media so you can keep up to date with what Darcy's doing and the other horses are all doing and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. <laughs>